Hey guys and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the assistant rank to unlock the research team for archaeology, which is basically like ports. So when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. To unlock the research team you require level 40 archaeology, which by that time you'll definitely have Mystery 1 complete. Mysteries are mini type quests that you do throughout the skill. Mysteries are really easy to complete and at level 40 you will hands down have done at least one of them. The Breaking the Sea one is the first one you do in the skill which unlocks the fortress for the level 17 area. Which if you don't know how to do just check out my video but really what it is you talk to Dr. Nabanek, then you go ahead and click on the wall, the Fort Debris, then go back to him. He will give you a Centurion seal damaged and what you have to do with that is repair it. It's kind of like an artifact. You have to mine down all of the debris and then use the seal on the passage to unlock the fortress and boom you are done. Now the other three requirements can be done simultaneously and are done quite easily. You have to find 25 artifacts, repair 25 artifacts aka restore them and you need to have one full collection log handed in at an NPC. Doesn't matter which one just one full log. Now if you haven't found 25 artifacts yet, or haven't repaired 25 artifacts, you can always go back to the first area, if you're already level 40 archaeology, to quickly get those low level artifacts you can easily repair to get those 25 quicker. Now the easiest log to complete is a Zarosian 1. You will require a Venator Dagor, Venator Light Crossbow, Primus Elementus Standard, Legionary Gladius, Legionary Square Shield, Zaros Effigy, Sarosian Training Dummy and a Lagatus Maximus Figurine. And finally, a Solemn in Umbra Painting. These can be found at the level 5, 12, 17 and 25 excavation spot sites. I'll be showing you guys the locations and where you can find those artifacts in a broken form in just a second. You of course require one of each. You will need a total of 74 Third Age Iron, 68 Zarosian Insignias, 32 Samite Silk, 34 White Oak, 24 Imperial Steel, 8 Gold Runes, 10 Ancient Vis, and 14 Tyrian Purple. And if you want the materials even faster, if you've already got the artifacts, you can always gather from the caches instead. These give you the materials all the time. The level 5 site is located in Carrot Et, where you can get yourself 3rd Age Iron and Zarosian Insignias. The level 12 excavation location is inside the fort as seen on the video, there are 3 locations nearby. Alternatively, if you just want Samite Silk, you can just go to the Carrot Et dig site and there will be caches nearby. The level 17 excavation site location is inside the middle of the fort. If you want to farm materials from a cache instead, White Oak is found at the top of the Ice Mountain, and Zarosian Insignias are found inside the Empty Throne Room, nearby the Dark Anamica. I'll show you guys how to get there in the video, just in case someone doesn't know how to get there. The level 25 location is also located inside the fort, as you can see. At this location you can find the figurine and the Ancient Viz material. After completing all the required tasks, go and talk to the Archaeologist Guildmaster. A cutscene will then play and you will now become the Assistant. Congratulations. After doing this, go to the building in the south and start sending out your NPCs. This minigame, or thing, is kind of like ports. You send your researchers out for chronotes. They will return after a certain amount of time, which you can pick, and they will return with materials, experience, a chance for relics, and the specials can even get you into some deeper areas of archaeology. Now these special assignments can be found by uncovering or searching certain areas around the archaeology dig sites, and I'll be showing you guys a couple in just a second. I know of these thanks to my stream chat, which is also the reason my voice is slightly damaged at the moment from all the talking. Anyways, big shout out to everyone on the stream who was helping me out, and especially Trollhouse E. Now you can actually recruit people around the dig site which can speed up your research trips or adventures by giving them a certain artifact they want. You can actually check which artifact they want by talking to them at the dig site. The more achievements you complete to get to a higher qualification at the Archaeology Guild, the more personnel you can send in at every voyage or adventure for research. 
Certain NPCs give a boost to speed and therefore you can get more researches done in a shorter period of time. For example, the NPC I recruited had a plus 1% speed buff. Some NPCs require quests and have a cost modifier so they may be more expensive in terms of chrono notes to send out. The first special mission can be found by studying the barracks rubble in the fortress. And there's another one inside the prison door, and if you don't know how to unlock the prison, check out my previous tips video on archaeology. Inside the second dig site, you can study the Star Lodge, as seen here, thanks to Misericord for showing me. And then once you go inside the fireplace, you can find another straight in front of you. And there's also a hander on this area, and if you right-click it and pick it up and add a ring of luck to it, you can add it to your monolith for tier 1 luck for a relic. It's a relic you can add to your monolith collection. Anyways, with that being said, I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing for more archaeology content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.